All right, we're here with head coach Jim Dapkis, and coach, you had two uh, close games today. You uh, played uh, much better today than you did yesterday. What was the difference between the two uh, games, or um, the two uh, days? Both both of our guys showed up today pitching-wise, and it, we've done that for the last three or four series where we just we have been really flat the first day, but we come back the second day and play a lot better. And uh, hopefully we can figure out the first day here with the last couple of weekends and just try to kind of straighten out the record a little bit or make it a little bit better and all that. But uh, played just like you said, played a lot better today than we did yesterday, and pitching had a lot to do with it. Uh, Logan Smith had a couple home runs. Talk a little bit about his day today. Uh, he had a good day, man. We, we are not a power hitting team, and uh, if Logan or Clint doesn't do it for the most part, we're not going to have much power. So Logan came up with a big home run in the, in the second game just to kind of get us on the board, keep the game close, and uh, we were able to finally come through and rally in the last inning to, to get Chris a win. So, Well, in the first game, you had the big lead, and then they came back to win, but um, Taylor Klugman pitched a heck of a game. Uh, just talk a little bit about him on the mound today. T Taylor's really showed up the last three starts have been really good for him, man. Even in the Washburn game last week, uh, we lose in the 10, ten innings, when, but uh, he pitched a great game that game and really should have had this game. We just we had too many errors that allowed them to kind of get a run here and there, and the next thing you know, we make a big error in the, uh, the last inning that gets them to tie the game and, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, Taylor has been pitching good. Chris has been pitching good. We just got to find a little bit more consistency and a little bit more depth in that starting rotation. Well, in addition to his pitching in the second game, which was outstanding, uh, Chris had a bunch of big hits in the first game. Uh, he's obviously a great all-around player. What has he meant to the team this oh, year? He, he means, I mean, he means a lot, man. Uh, he, like I said, he is, he's a guy that you count on not only to hopefully be a, a major part of the offense, but to also go out there in you know, one of the games during the series and, and try to get a win for us. And there's, there's not too many guys in the conference that are doing that, and Chris, I think, is one of the best ones at doing both of them. And uh, um, it's just a shame we don't have a little bit more help offensively, but he's had, a, he's had another good year for us. Well, what's going to be the biggest key to keeping this momentum going, especially with the midweek game coming up? Uh, we got to, we're going to try to play some guys Tuesday against Rollin, maybe that haven't gotten a lot of playing time, and uh, you know we just we have to find a way to get good, consistent pitching that allows the defense to hopefully stay in it, and then uh, you know, we got to find a way to keep scoring runs, and hopefully you know this you know four runs in the last thing we can feed off of that, maybe going into Tuesday, just like you said, and that'll carry us into the you know Missouri Southern coming up next next weekend. All right, coach, thanks for your time.